Here are three players dressed suitably for the game of hockey. The goalkeeper has her special equipment, but the other two vary merely in style. The goalkeeper is warmly clad in a sweater and wears slacks to give her freedom of movement. Notice the whiteness of her pads and the kickers, which enclose the whole foot. This player is wearing an open-necked, long-sleeved blouse with shorts. As is best with shorts, she wears three-quarter length stockings, and she has chosen leather shoes with bars on the soles. Her stick is the orthodox one with the rounded head. This player prefers a tunic, and again we see the long-sleeved shirt blouse and three-quarter length stockings. She is wearing canvas lacrosse boots with rubber studs and carries the short-headed Indian stick. This player is ready to start dribbling. Her hands are apart in her stick to give better control, and her head is over the ball. She keeps the ball ahead of her feet, and her left arm well away from her body. Watch the movement of her left wrist at the top of her stick. She keeps the ball very close to her stick. Left arm away from the body. Ball close to the stick. The player now controls the ball while swerving round obstacles. Watch how she keeps the ball always ahead of her feet and to her right. The ball is kept close to her stick and is not allowed to cross to her left. Here we see the action of the drive in slow motion without the ball. The hands are now close together at the top of the stick to give the stroke more power. Notice the short lift back and the long follow through. The weight comes on to the left foot as the ball is hit. The follow-through keeps straight on in the direction of the hit. This hit to the right is made off the right foot. Watch how the player puts her weight on the right foot as she hits. This ball is hit straight ahead. Now the hit to the left. Now to the right. Hands close together. Weight on the left foot. Weight on the right foot. Now we have theory put into action, dribbling followed by a drive. Notice how the right hand moves up the stick to give the correct grip for the drive.
This is a straightforward tackle. The defender has her stick firmly on the ground as she moves towards the ball. Her hands are apart on her stick to give the tackle more strength. She keeps her feet behind her stick to put more weight into the tackle. Even against an opponent resisting her strongly, she still gets the ball. This player is receiving a ball coming straight to her. She collects the ball well ahead of her feet with her hands apart. Watch the give of her stick as the ball meets it. Now receiving from the left. The stick is ahead of the player's feet with the face of the stick towards the ball. See how she gathers the ball into the dribbling position. Now receiving from the right. The feet face forward while the blade of the stick lies back to gather the ball. Notice how the player reaches back to collect the ball as soon as possible. In the left hand dodge, the player avoids her opponent by dodging round her on the left and pulling the ball with her. She moves her feet to the left before she pulls the ball. She is able to run straight on after she has completed the dodge. When her opponent moves towards her, the dodge must be started sooner. In the right hand dodge, the player pushes the ball past her opponent on the right and runs round by the left to collect it. The ball is pushed round the opponent's non-stick side. The ball is not pushed too far ahead as it must be collected quickly. Again, when the opponent moves towards her, the dodge must be started in plenty of time. This player dodges her opponent by lifting the ball over her stick. She must have the ball well ahead of her feet before she lifts it. The ball should not be lifted too high and should be collected quickly. Now you will see each of these dodges followed by a shot at goal right hand dodge and shot, left hand dodge and shot. Watch the player's feet move to the left. Scoop dodge and shot. See how quickly the ball is collected to allow the shot to be made. For the bully off, the players stand with their feet square and the blades of their sticks facing. In this first bully, the player pulls the ball towards her and passes her head to the left. The hands are well apart on the stick as the bully is made. Watch how she moves her right foot out of the way as she pulls the ball towards her. These shots, incidentally, 
are shown in slow motion. Now the reverse bully. The ball is passed directly back with a reverse stick stroke. The grip of the bottom hand is changed to make it easier to turn the stick over. The head of the stick is turned over to let the tip of the stick hit the ball. In this bully, the ball is reversed a short distance and passed to the right. In this last bully, the ball is held against the opponent's stick and then lifted over it. Here the player shows the action of the roll-in. The ball is being rolled with the hand nearest the sideline and the arm follows through in the direction of the roll. She is showing three directions of roll, close to the sideline, diagonally forward, and the square roll straight into the field. In the push pass, the player pushes the ball along the ground. Her weight is well over the front foot as she makes her stroke. There is no backswing and the stick follows through after the ball. The left wrist pulls back as the right hand supplies the push. See if you can notice all these points again on the move. Action of the left wrist. Weight on the front foot. Follow through after the ball. In the scoop stroke, the player lifts the ball in the air. The ball is well ahead of her feet and her hands are apart. She lays the blade of the stick under the ball. The levering action of her stick lifts the ball as she bends her knee. Now watch these points on the move. Ball ahead of the feet. Stick laid under the ball and the bent knee. In the flick, the player lifts the ball in the air with a quick, strong, levering action of the wrists. As in the scoop, the ball must be kept well away from the feet. The knees are well bent to get under the ball. Watch the long follow through with the stick held low. Now on the move, watch the ball ahead of the feet, bending of the knee, levering action of the wrist, and the long follow through. 
The lunge is a stroke made from behind an opponent and on her right to remove the ball from her path. The stroke is made at full reach with the stick in the left hand. The backswing gives power and control to the stroke. Firstly, the goalkeeper is stopping and clearing shots from the right. She keeps her weight well forward and kicks with the inside of her foot. Now she makes some first-time clearances of shots from the left. Watch the swing of her whole leg as she clears. Always the clear is made away from the goal. More clearing with a first-time kick her head well down over the ball, and her stick is always ready in her right hand. Now she is dealing with balls of varying heights. She palms the ball down with her left hand before she clears. She still manages to have her weight forward as she kicks the ball away. She moves her feet quickly to be able to deal with any situation in the best way possible. Hockey is an exciting game, but full enjoyment can only come from mastering the strokes and by regular practice.